Hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this class about tutorial for beginners, I want to show you how you can convert uh, a solid or a mesh uh, into a series of curves, as you can see here as for the contour, and also a mesh. Uh, here you can see that I can change the distance, which is going to be the distance between the sections for the contour. Uh, this is a fast contour because I'm going to explain uh, how we're going to convert this into a mesh and get the final results. Uh, then we have the thickness, so if I just change this here, uh, you can see that I can change the thickness. Uh, there are also two points which I'm going to explain in this tutorial. If I change that, you can see that the direction is going to change. And uh, that's it. Uh, we can get the curves and get the mesh to get the final results. And that's how we can convert a solid or a mesh into these uh, contours. For example, if I want to uh, just draw a box here, uh, maybe use the control shift to deform this, scale this a little bit, and give this to the input. Here you can see that I can change the contour easily. I can even make it uh, any direction I want. distance and here we have the sections okay let's learn this step by step uh, okay to get started from scratch assume that we have a mesh or a nerves like this whatever you want you can even give uh, give it a mesh uh, so I'm just going to go to the params menu geometry and select the B rep input but you can also use uh, the geometry that means that any uh, collection of like curves uh, surfaces, solids, or mesh for the input. But for now, because we wanted to make it uh, a series of contours, close them, we have to have a closed solid or a mesh, a closed mesh. So I'm going to right click here and set one geometry and set this to this one and right click and internalize because I don't want to uh, use that anymore and I want to keep it in grasshopper. So we have it here. And now what we want to do is to use the simple contour we have in uh, Grasshopper. If I go to the intersection mathematical, you have uh, here the contour creates a set of BRAP or mesh contours here. So I'm going to use that. Okay, for the contour, we have the shape. We give obviously this one. Uh, there is a starting point. Just right click here and set a point, which is going to be the start uh, of the contour. And then we have the direction. For example, to make it simple possible, I'm going to make it a Z direction. And the distance is obviously a number here. And now we will have this. And uh, when I change that, you can see it's going to produce the contour curves out here from this output. But as you can see here, if you want to see the profiler, go to display canvas widget profiler, you can see this is a little bit slow. So how can we make this faster so we can get faster results? Uh, what I want to do here is to first give you an insight of how, ma uh, how to convert a solid into a mesh. The easiest way to do that is to go to the params geometry and use a mesh container and give it uh, give the solid or the nerve solid to the mesh input and then give it to the shape you can see this is going to be extremely faster and that's because it has converted the nerves into a mesh as you can see here and that's why it's producing faster results but assume we have something more complex so for example i just make a box here and explode that, rebuild this surface, and let's use soft edit surface, uh, fix edge yes, and deform this a little bit. Uh, just select this bottom part, scale it a little bit here, and move this and bring it down, put it here, and join it back. Now we have this. Uh, solid we're going to set that geometry here and turn this off you know that we can internalize this okay so here you can see uh, when we give this a mesh it's going to give us a faster results it's really fast because it's uh, going to roughly convert the solid into a mesh as you can see here uh, but what if we want to control this uh, you can do that instead of just connecting a mesh you can go to the a mesh utility if the mesh uh, if the geometry you're using is a really simple one i mean just like uh, triangular faces or quad faces you can use the simple mesh so if i for example give it here what it's going to give you is going to give you a box because 
uh, for the other faces it's okay but this surface uh, the simple mesh is just a quad because it can't give any more information on that but you can also use the utility uh, here we have the mesh uh, b-rep we give this b-rep here you can hit the control M or just go to display and turn on the preview mesh edges. I also usually give a display custom preview to the output so I can see that and just turn off everything here. And just turn on the control if you want to see it. Okay, anyway, these are the mesh edges as you can see here. Uh, for the setting, you can go to the mesh utility and there are different settings here. So for example, there's a setting custom, setting speed, setting quality and you can use uh, any of these but for now you can just go to custom if you want to so that is going to give you more uh, inputs here uh, there are lots of inputs here but for this tutorial because I want to just give you a fast overview I usually just uh, mess around with the minimum edges and maximum edges so for example I say 0 0.1 to 10 it's really based on your project but just give it to both of them and then uh, this is going to give you a really really uh, dense mesh that's why it's slowing down and you can see how much of these faces are producing the mesh is really really uh, dense here so uh, remember that this number has to be related to your project I'm going to start with 10 and go up to 30 maybe and now you can see that by changing this it's actually going to change the resolution so you can see how the mesh is produced which is also another way of producing the mesh and uh, I think this is the best thing you can just control if you want a really fast way of just getting a resolution of your project and then just uh, play around with the distance so that was uh, one of the ways you can convert the mesh I'm just going to bring this down and bring it down here So you can use it later in, uh, in your project to just give that geometry to the b-rep and then give it as a mesh. Uh, okay, let's just make this a little bit uh, more complex. Uh, so what I want to do here is to uh, work around with this direction instead of the z direction. Uh, to make it a direction way, we can just simply say Pam's menu two points, right click and set multiple points. Uh, just uh, select two points for here. And now that we have two points, we can make this as a vector, as a direction. Uh, I'm going to go to the vector, and in the vector menu, submenu, we have vector two points. Create a vector between two points. But because this uh, is in one container, we have to select uh, the first and the second and give it to the point A and B. So let's just go to the sets. This is good for beginners if they want to learn how to pick things. So list item is going to pick things and the index is zero so it's going to pick up the first point and if I zoom in and hit plus it's going to go to the second point so we have these two points as an output if you have more points just hit the plus it's going to uh, say the index is zero so I give you one two three uh, till the end so if I give the index like five this is going to be the index five six seven eight okay we can give that to the point a and b the unitize is a false but that's okay I'm going to give that to the direction uh, another way we can do here is uh, it's the length so uh, the length of this direction and maybe you want in this direction just define how much uh, contours you have in in this way anyway uh, you can use the length and go to the math and divide it by a number so for example I want 12 uh, so if this is the length I want 12 sections inside that so that is going to give the contour input for the other distances because it's going to extend uh, completely from the start to end of the shape so you can also use that if you want to control how many sections you have for example maybe you want to say uh, I want two points and say from here to here okay and I want 18 from that so that is also a useful way to do that and uh, another way is that just move this up and down so if you want to have different directions but if you just want to use it for a direction you can say these two points and use this distance for controlling how much distance you want so I'm going to just put this here also if you want to use that as the distance 
another thing here is the point you can also use this point the first point as the starting point so uh, assume this is the contour direction and uh, here it's going to be exactly a place for the sections if I go from the normal direction here so if I go to set view top uh, let's put it here uh, you can see that this point is going to be actually uh, on the section so that is also important maybe you want exactly that point on the section the second point is just giving it a direction so that's also possible if you want to do that again remember that you can also give it to here uh, this is also useful if you uh, really want to have these two points on the contours as you can see here uh, I have six divisions between these two points right uh, one two three four five six and it's going to also extend till the end so that's also uh, a way you can use these uh, two points to uh, use that contour okay let's just go to set view perspective and remember that you can work with this two points also okay now that we have the contours uh, I think that we have to make these two points a little bit bigger so I can control that here anyway uh, after we have these curves we can convert them into a solid if I go to the params menu and connect a surface to that that is going to give it like this uh, but if you want to uh, go with a mesh what I prefer to do here uh, because if I want to extrude it I uh, I'm going to explain the pufferfish plugin and here we have the surface sub menu and offset surface just take a look how slow it's going to be if I use this one and give this a number okay uh, this is going to be uh, if I take a look at the contours from top you can see that this is the curve and it's extruding that in a 2.22 uh, what if I wanted to put this curve at the middle so what I have to do here is to make a minus x divided by 2 for uh, the opposite direction and x divided by 2 for the positive direction so just give that to the both sides go to distance expression minus x divided by 2 and x divided by 2 and for the create solid it's solid true now you can see that if I go back to perspective I will have the complete solid but it's really slow and that is going to also uh, affect uh, the number of divisions you will have here so it's going to slow down the, co uh, the whole process instead of that uh, what we can do here is to delete this offset surface and in the pufferfish go to the mesh we have the same uh, really similar one in the mesh sub menu offset mesh so I'm going to use that Again, you can give that to the mesh and give that to the minus x divided by 2 and x divided by 2. So you can see how fast it is uh, to convert that. And uh, here it's converting the surface to a mesh, so it's also a little bit slow, I think. You can see we have that. Uh, maybe we can convert these curves into a mesh I think that in the mesh we have something like this polyline to mesh something like this actually see how fast it is it's really fast it doesn't give you the best meshes but anyway I can give that to a custom preview hit the control M to turn it off go to the rendered mode and now I can fastly see that so you can see this is a really fast contour uh, we can simply just work around give a direction and produce different results this is like the fastest mesh way uh, you can get it from a solid so I'm going to save this file if you want to just check that out but uh, I thought that this is going to help you in your projects because it's going to give you really super fast
meshes for the curves you can simply just give that to the curve output and use that uh, remember that this is a polyline uh, if you want to smooth it you can also use the curve utility and smooth polyline and give it a strength because it's between 0 and 1 1 is maximum the times from 1 to 20 times this is going to just smooth that if you want a smooth polyline you can see how smooth this is and obviously this is also useful if you want to use the puffer fish uh, offset uh, surface solid because it was a little bit slow as you've seen before but if you want to go with the NURBS way you can again uh, use the curve spline uh, utility sorry and rebuild it rebuild those curves maybe instead of smoothing you have to rebuild it you have to give the degree three and then count and then extrude that so so for this tutorial I didn't want to give you uh, a really accurate uh, output from the nerves we have but uh, rather have a fastest contour output so this is also really uh, useful okay thanks for uh, watching remember to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel uh, so you get notified about our uh, our future tutorials and see you next time bye